as you notice. <laughs> Hello viewers. Another beautiful day. Yup. Hope your five senses work, health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? Alright, what I got for you. Okay, let's see here. Uh, we got Intel released a new Wi-Fi and Bluetooth driver with Windows 11. Uh, version 24H2 support. And this for the Intel uh, driver. Uh, it says here, uh, <clears throat> Intel is getting ready for the next feature update for Windows 11. The company has released new driver under the 23.60.1. The main highlight of the release support for upcoming Windows 11 24H, which is a apparently is a must for Wi-Fi uh, 7 users, according to an official Microsoft doc. It says in addition. The driver brings regulatory updates for Wi-Fi 7 in certain countries. Here's what's new in the Intel Wi-Fi driver for Windows 10 and 11. It says, uh, support for the latest Windows 11 update. Windows 11 Wi-Fi 7, our regulatory update for China, South Korea. This, uh, <clears throat> and it says the software release for 23.60.1 has been updated to include functional and security updates, there are many to be uh, minor issues addressed that will impact performance, stability, or vendor specific functionality. Not listed above, users are encouraged to update the latest Windows for the best performance. So that's, uh, for, so that's for Windows 11, Windows 10, um, and Windows 11 and Windows 10. And it says, Related notes for the Bluetooth driver includes the version support the latest for Windows 11 OS update. Intel wireless Bluetooth 23.60 driver has been updated to include functional and security updates. Users are encouraged to update the latest version for best performance. And then it says uh, support operating system includes, win includes 64 bit Windows 10 and 11. As for the hardware, you can install Windows, install version 23.60.1 if your computer has one of the following network cards. Uh, for Intel Wi-Fi 7 is a BF0, BF202, BE200 for Wi-Fi 7 for Wi-Fi 6. It's a AX411, AX211, AX210. AX203, AX203, AX200, AX101. And then for Intel 9000, AC9560, 9461, slash 9462, and 9260. So that's what you need to get the Wi Fi Bluetooth driver for Windows 10 and 11. Now, Got one more update here. Uh, this for uh, Intel release 31, and this is for the 31.0.101.5592 WHQL. Uh, it says yeah, Intel has a new game on WHQL uh, uh, graphics driver for customers with support uh, discrete and integrated uh, graphics card. And it says version 31.0.101.5592 does not bring optimization for new games or notable performance improvement. Instead, it focuses on fixing bugs and instability. <clears throat> it says here's the list of the fixes in driver 31.0.101.5592 uh, Intel uh, Arc A series graphics products, a uh, huge bench extended. Uh, preset benchmark may fail to complete a certain Adobe Premiere processing test. And then it says uh, <clears throat> for uh, for the uh, Intel A for the A series graphics products, uh, No Man's Sky VK may experience an application crash during gameplay while changing Windows context with all plus tab and Shrouded may experience application crash during gameplay Doom Eternal uh, may exhibit intermittent flickering uh, correct corruption in the game menu and during gameplay. And it says uh, Topaz Video AI may experience error 
when we're exporting a video after using some models for video enhancement. And let's see here what it says uh, Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection DX12 may experience an application crash on loading to gameplay. You know, Pew, Pew, it's a Pug uh, Bench extended out. <laughs> A preset benchmark may fail to complete on certain Adobe uh, Premiere for a processing test. Topaz AI may experience error running certain benchmark tests. Procyon AI may experience an application crash while running benchmark with Precision Flow 32. And launch a game with en Endurance Game Engage may result in vSync persisting on after disengaging endurance games during gameplay a workaround is uh is to relaunch the application then it says for dragon quest with the rectx 9 uh may experience sporadic application crash during gameplay so and that's for the 12th gen and uh 14 gen generation in intel core products and uh for graphics compatible with 64-bit windows 10 and 11 graphic uh and the following uh Graphics card are uh, our processors talking about uh, compatible here. Uh, A series Alchemist, uh, the Iris XE Discrete DG1, then for Meteor Lake Ultra, 14th Gen Raptor Lake, 13th Gen Raptor Lake, 12th Gen Rap uh, Adler Lake, and 11th Gen Tiger Lake. So. Um, that's it for like uh, drivers. Um, you can download it from the website, so I will leave the link. So, you uh, Intel fans, you're good with Windows uh, update for Windows 10 and uh, and for Intel. So, you guys are good. So, uh, <clears throat> so the graphics um, says the uh, you can download 31.0.101.55.92 from the official site. And I will leave the link to that to that so you guys are good. So running games on the on the on, on Intel graphics card and um, running games on the MSI Claw should perform better with uh, with all these updates, you know. So you you uh rock I mean uh, rock, I mean uh, MSI Claw fans, you're good. <laughs> News, deals, games update, the usual, you guys are good. Oh yeah. Updates are just like this, being made and just marching in, you know, so got to be ready for it, you know, yeah. Of course, you got to have the proper storage, you know, on, on these portable PCs to take over, I mean, to take advantage of these updates, you know, yeah. Um, when they, when they, um, when they, when, when, when you get to release, when they are um, being released, you know, so, yeah. You got to have the right storage, you know, um, upgrade your storage, you know, from what, from from 5, 5, 12 gigabyte to 112 to um, even 2 terabytes, you know, so when those updates come in, you know, you, you don't miss anything, so, yeah. But other than that, man, uh, you MSI Clive, MSI, M, you MSI Claw fans, you're good. <laughs> yeah, that should do it for now, until the next update, now that you know, yeah. And, um, yeah, Steam sale is coming up in a, in a couple of days, so, uh, Get ready for it. <laughs> Summer sale, that is. Get ready for it. <laughs> if you plan on getting any games, if you if you're not planning on getting anything, there's the autumn sale when the autumn comes around after summer. So get ready for that too. So, but other than that, man, I'll keep you guys up to date on what's going on on the MSI Claw front when updates arrive. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, the Star Wars Star Trek Night, Board Dark Section. Go. Peace.